I genuinely cannot believe it's taken me this long to discover this yarn. Like seriously, look at that green right there. Green and that like witchy purple and there's black in it. It literally is just a Halloween yarn and it's taken me forever to find it. But I'm glad it's here and I'm glad it's in my life now. What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Happy day number 11 of Halloween. Um, I know I have my favorite cup of coffee here, which always just gives me relaxing, comfy, cozy vibes. I have Brutality's Guts and Glory, per usual. And then I just wanted to do really simple latte, so I just did a little bulletproof. MCT oil, a little butter, blend it up, and just perfection in a cup, basically. Where I'm at, it's like super snuggly out, so it's like spooky season, have the windows cracked a little bit, and then go ahead and put a big ol' snuggly cardigan on. That's the type of weather that's vibing outside, and I'm so here for it. Another thing that I'm totally here for is the Freight Club, so I'm gonna grab that, and we're gonna open up day number 11 for Halloween. So, day 11 of Freight Club here, we have the ghost with that slime green color that I absolutely love. Let's try to find the adorable package that correlates with it. Can I not find, ah ha ha! And we found it. Day number 11, cute little ghost on it. It's squishy, I'm thinking it's some yarn. I'm so excited about all these little yarn packages. I feel like I wanna do that with all of my yarn. Just when I get it in and ordered, put it in these cute little packages and then like open them up one at a time each day. Make my own little fright club. There we go. Oh my gosh. It is more of that slime green yarn. Sorry, that was like a real explosive reaction and I like came at you real quick there, but love this yarn. Like seriously, you guys already know that I love this. And I'm so glad that there's more of this. So I'm really hoping that there's gonna be a little bit extra so maybe I can make some like fingerless mitts with it or something. Oh, that would be so sick. We've gotten like so much yarn from the Fright Club here that it's getting hard for me to hold them all together here, but I'm gonna do it separate. So here is a little bit of all the yarn that we've gotten from the Fright Club. Like honestly, I know it's kind of hard to see and I almost just threw that in my coffee. Oh, I would have been so mad. So we've got a couple of the green, we've got this sick orange, a little Halloween orange. We got a red, a couple of the witchy purple. This one is like really vibrant and this in, this one is a little more like midnight purple type of deal. And then we have one yellow. So we're getting some sick colors here, like honestly. Once again, if you have not checked out the cowl that the Fright Club is gonna make at the end of it, definitely click on the link below to check that out because it is sick. Also, there is literally nothing in this Fright Club that I've not liked. Honestly, I've been super excited, super happy with this. Obviously, I'm having a ton of fun opening it on here, so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it as well. Also, I did happen to look on the Jimmy Beans Wool site there, and they do have a really neon green um, type of yarn. They have like a couple of them, actually. So if you click on the link down below and you just search like neon green or like vibrant green, I can't really remember exactly what I put in there. It was late last night and I was just like, yarn shopping which is always a great idea but so yeah so they have a couple options because i figured i was like if they have it in the fright club obviously it's going to be on their site so i don't know why i didn't think about that right away but yeah i just went and checked it out last night so they have a couple options on their site if you're looking for that sick slime green yarn which kind of leads us into what we're doing here today because the yarn that we're using actually has some of that slime green yarn into the entire ball of yarn and I'm so here for it like seriously I don't know why I haven't like played with this yarn before so little story time here a long time ago like two three years ago I got this giant container of yarn and there was like 50 skeins of yarn in it it was ridiculous um and I was just kind of starting out to crochet so I didn't really know the types of yarn that I like to work with and I was just like hey this is a bomb deal let's go ahead and buy this bought it it kind of just sat in my closet for like ever i moved a couple times it moved with me i never really dug into it it just like i don't know it, i just kind of forgot about it fast forward to literally just a couple weeks ago and i'm cleaning out some of my closets here getting ready for the spooky season you know taking out some of my old yarn that i no longer use or don't want 
and replenishing it with some fun new yarn here. And I found this giant bag and I was like, okay, I don't even know what's in here. Pull it out. <sighs> there was a ton of like Halloween-esque type of yarn in it. Let me grab it here because I gotta show you. I'm just like so mad at myself that I let this just like slide at the bottom of all my yarn and I haven't gotten to it until literally now, years later. So look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This entire month I've been like basically whining about how I can't find this neon green, slime green yarn. And little did I know, I had like 15 of these just chilling in my closet waiting for me to discover them. Like I'm so mad about it. <laughs> so this is not a new yarn guys. This is from Loops and Threads and it's actually called Dragonfly. I feel like they missed a prime opportunity for naming this yarn. Like so many other names like Witch's Swamp or Witchy Booger or Slime Green or like, I, I don't know, there are so many million other names that you could have used for this. So then it would have been on my radar to be like, hi, work me up into something cool because I'm just chilling in your closet right now, doing nothing, collecting dust, because you think that I'm, I'm not this cool yarn. Um, super mad about it. So yeah, I literally had like 15 of these just chilling in my closet. So mad, like so mad. But actually, but like still so happy because I found this. It was like such a fun find for the spooky season. Could not have been any better. Might just be a saying to myself of like, hey, maybe clean out your yarn stash a little more frequently than you just did because that was a lot of yarn chilling that you had no idea about. <laughs> like I said, this is by no means a new yarn. It's by Loops and Threads. Um, but I figured I'd just do a little recap here of what is all in this yarn in case you're interested in it and if you haven't seen it, like I hadn't because it just slipped past my radar. So on here it's suggesting that you use an 8mm hook because it's considered a number 5 bulky. And let me do a little close up of that because I totally agree. Oh my gosh you guys, look how ridiculous that is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Anyways. It definitely is a thick, bulky yarn, and um, when you work with it, some of the fibers do come off, which I'm not mad about because it's crazy, crazy soft, like ridiculously soft. I have used this type of yarn for so many projects that I'm so mad that I did not know that this was a thing. Like, I have a whole stash just full of like the black, gray, and like charcoal from this type of yarn because I really like it for making scarves, for making hats, for making like poncho things, cardigans, these are, this yarn is amazing for that. But yes, when you work up with it, some of the fibers do kind of come off, so then you're just gonna be covered in like this slime green fiber, which I am not mad about at all. And it's just such a soft yarn that I, I just work around it, honestly. It's just what it is. Um, let's see, what is it actually made of? Yeah, so it's 100% acrylic. Which makes sense because I love acrylic yarn. I don't know, it's just my thing. Um, they're fun to work with, they're super beginner friendly, they're easy, I love them. They're easy to like maintain and handle. Can throw it in the washer and dryer. I guess I should look at that before I tell you you can throw it in the washer and dryer. Yeah, so this one says you can throw it in the washer but when you put it in the dryer just put it on low. Um, I'm gonna let you know that I did not look at that and I've made so many scarves out of this particular brand of yarn. I just throw it in the dryer and I'm pretty sure my dryer is just like on high like ridiculously. Not that it's necessary but yeah, I so I throw them in there and it hasn't really done anything to it that I would notice being a negative about it. Then per usual like it has this little label and on the inside of it there is a little pattern. You can make this, it looks like a little scarf. I'm just gonna open it up here. What do we got? There is a pattern. I guess I could go online and see. I'm, sh I'm sure they have it in crochet form on their website. So maybe I should just go and like find that right now. I'm gonna go pull that up. Yeah, so there are just like a ton of patterns for this yarn in general. Um, like I said, it's not a new yarn, so it's not shocking at all that there's a ton of patterns on here. Like I said, I bought this like years ago, so I cannot tell you what I paid for it. Also, it was in a bundle of like 50 skeins, so I have no idea what I paid for it. But on Michael's right now, where you can find it, it's $4.49 per skein, and as of this moment right now, 10, 11, 20, um, they have a sale going on, so they're $2.99 each, which is ridiculous. Like, 
This is sick yarn and for $2.99, like, okay, we need to get in on this. I already have like 15 of these, but I feel like I just need to go ahead and throw some more into my cart because obviously I'm gonna use it for other things and $2.99 is ridiculous, so. Also another tidbit about the yarn, on Michaels, there are 48 color combinations of this particular yarn. So if for some reason, this sick ass yarn is like not up your alley, which I don't know why it wouldn't be, but um, there are a ton of options. So 48 options, Right now, it's going for $2.99. I feel like we all need to have a little yarn spree. So this was not designed to be a yarn review, um, but I just felt like this yarn, it's just gone under my radar for so long that it just needed to have a little bit of extra attention and needed a little spotlight moment just in case it's gone under the radar for you guys as well. So I do have a skein that I've like completely tore apart. So when you undo it here, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was just messing around with it. I was starting to make a scarf and then I didn't like how it turned out. So then I just like frogged the whole project. So this was a scarf at one time and now it is just back into a giant ball of yarn. But if you look at that, look how freaking cool that is. Honestly, there are so many sick colors in here. This is just like hocus pocus vibe for sure. Seriously. Oh my gosh, I love it. So the yarn looks amazing in and of itself when it's like this but as you start working with it it just gets spookier honestly that's that's the only thing that i can explain it as it gets spookier and i love it the more that i work with it so so since this yarn was in no way shape or form on my radar for spooky season i had no plans to create anything with it for October but once I found it I knew that I had to do something for it and I had to squeeze it into October because obviously so I frogged a couple projects I was just like trying to create something with it and I was so mad because it's such a cool yarn and I wanted to make something really really fun but then I just like I stopped after I frogged my second project and I was like okay let's make a project that's super super easy beginner friendly something that is gonna work out so quick that even if you see this at the end of October, so it's like the beginning of Halloween morning, you can still go ahead and make this project. So in the end, I decided to make a really fun bobble beanie. And it has this adorable faux fur little pom-pom. I don't know about you guys, but I love pom-poms. And it's really hard to find a package of just black faux fur yarn. Like it always has some other random colors thrown in with my package that I'm like, I don't want those though. I don't want a beige color one. I just want all black. Apparently it's too much to ask for. So I am crazy excited about how this turned out, especially the fact that I had to frog a couple projects. I feel like this turned out awesome. And like I said, crazy beginner friendly. So on the bottom here, we're gonna be doing a single crochet in the back loop only. So it makes that nice little ridge for the top of the, the brim of the hat, I guess. And then the top portion here is just little bobble stitches. That's it. And I freaking love bobble stitches, you guys, honestly. Um, I think they look adorable on hats. When you put bobbles in scarves, I feel like it just adds super awesome texture to it. But for hats, I feel like it did a really good job of making all the colors of this yarn really pop. Like it gave them room to breathe so they all have their moment to shine, basically. I, I felt like it's a bulky yarn, so I wanted it to be something that's really slouchy. It's gonna keep you warm, but it's gonna be really loose and slouchy type of deal. Freaking love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. So, so thick, just ready for the spooky season. Obviously, I'm gonna have to do something else with this yarn. Like, I have so much of it. This, like, did not take anything at all. It took literally one skein, that was it. One skein of yarn and you have this kick-ass hat ready to go for Halloween. Can't really ask for anything more, honestly. Well, I mean, I can, but I'm not going to right now because I just found like 15 skeins of this. So I hope you guys are stoked for this pattern because I love how it turned out and I freaking love this yarn, like honestly. Love it so much. Just a fun, happy accident that I found for the spooky season. On that note, I hope you guys are super stoked for this pattern. So let's just go ahead and grab our materials and go ahead and start working this up for the spooky season. 
All right, rounding up our materials, we'll need one skein of the loops and thread in the color Dragonfly, one eight millimeter crochet hook, one pair of scissors, one stitch counter, one stitch marker, one black faux fur pom-pom, and with that, we're ready to go. First off, we're gonna take that yarn and attach it onto our hook. Then, for our foundation chain, we're gonna go ahead and chain nine. Next, in that second chain from your hook, you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook and place one single crochet inside that stitch. Then continue by placing one single crochet inside each stitch across your foundation chain. For row number two, you're gonna chain one and then turn your project. And now we're gonna start working in the back loop only. So in that stitch that's farthest away from you, insert your hook and you're gonna place one single crochet inside that back loop. Pull up the yarn and there you have your first one. So go ahead and place one single crochet in the back loop only all the way across for row number two. Next, we'll be working in rows three through 40. So go ahead and grab your stitch counter in order to keep track of what row that you're on. And what we're gonna do is the exact same thing that we did for row number two. So chain one, turn your project. Then we'll place one single crochet in the back loop only all the way across. And we'll repeat that for rows three through 40. Once that's finished, go ahead and take your piece and fold it in half, and then we're gonna work on attaching the ends together so we can have the start of our hat. So in that first stitch, go ahead and insert your hook and place one slip stitch. So continue to do that in each stitch all the way across to close up the bottom portion of our hat. Next, we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna start to crochet around the brim of the hat here in order to make the main portion. So in that very first stitch, you're gonna place one single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over again, and pull through one last time. So we have one single crochet there. So continue to do that in the next 42 stitches. Place one single crochet in each 42 stitches all the way around, making sure to place them as evenly as possible. That way we have a nice and even hat all the way around. Once you reach the end of it, we're gonna go ahead and place one slip stitch in the top of that very first single crochet that you just made. So insert your hook, pull up some yarn and complete slip stitch. So that's how we're gonna connect the end of all of our rows. Next, you're gonna chain one and turn your project and we're gonna start working on row number two. For each of the next rows, we're gonna need to use our stitch marker here to keep track of the beginning and the end of each row. So for row number two, we're gonna go ahead and skip that first stitch. Then in the following stitch, we're gonna yarn over insert our hook, pull up some yarn, yarn over again, insert our hook into that same stitch, pull up some more yarn, then we're gonna yarn over and then pull through all of those loops that are on your hook. Lastly, we're gonna yarn over and chain one, and that's gonna be the completed version of the bobble. I slowed it down a lot so you could see what was actually going on there, 
And this is basically what we're gonna do for the rest of the entire hat. So if you need to go back, this would be a good place to like kind of check mark and like this is how you make a bobble. So go ahead and place your stitch marker so we know where the beginning of this row is. Then we're gonna start to work up another bobble. So yarn over, skip that next stitch, insert your hook, pull up some yarn, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch again, pull up some yarn. You should have five yarn loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all of the loops. Oh, that one got stuck there. That's all right. Then we're gonna yarn over again and pull through that loop. And that's the completed bobble. So go ahead and follow that all the way around. Just like on the previous row, when you get to the end here, go ahead and remove your stitch marker. And then we're gonna place one slip stitch into the top of that very first stitch in order to close off the row. Next, we'll be working in rows three through 12. And how we're gonna do that is everything that we just did for row number two. The only thing that changes is we're gonna start placing that bobble stitch inside that chain one space you made from the previous row. So go ahead and work all the way around completing rows three through 12. Once you've made it all the way to row number 13, go ahead and close it up just like you did with the previous rows. We're gonna place that slip stitch in the top of that very first stitch that we made at the beginning of the row. So then go ahead and grab your scissors and cut that working yarn because we're totally done with it. But make sure that you cut your working yarn a little bit longer than you think you're gonna need it because we're gonna use that to actually close up the top portion of the hat here. So pull that through with that very last loop then grab your yarn needle here and just feed that end of the yarn through the yarn needle. Next, begin to weave your yarn needle in between every other stitch there in order to close up the top of your hat. Lastly, go ahead and use that yarn needle to weave in the top portion there closed so everything stays together. Then the, the only thing you have left to do is weave in the ends on the bottom of the hat and attach your little pom-pom. All right, you guys, so that's all there is to making this super simple, beginner-friendly, bobble spooky beanie. Love it. I seriously hope you enjoyed it because I had so much fun making it, and obviously I'm gonna have to make something else with this yarn. So, if you wanna see this yarn worked up into like a scarf, a cowl, maybe even a shawl or something, or like a cardigan, oh my gosh, this would be sick in a big, thick cardigan. Anyways, if you'd like to see any of those, make sure to comment down below so I know and I can start whipping it up and uh, we'll have it ready here real soon because I am so stoked about this yarn that I just want to keep playing with it, honestly. All right, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for day number 11 of Halloween and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.